When you start researching the telescopes, many telescopes mention in their description that the telescope has spherical mirrors or parabolic mirrors. What exactly are these mirrors? We will see the details in this video. So usually the specifications of mirror types are mentioned in reflecting and catadioptric type telescopes. If you don't know the different types of telescopes, then please watch this video on the channel. Let's see what spherical mirrors are. Spherical mirrors have a spherical shape. They're easy to manufacture and they're cheaper. The two types of spherical mirrors are the concave mirror and the convex mirror. The concave mirrors are used inside a telescope. When parallel light rays fall on the concave mirror, the reflected light will not focus on a single point. Instead, it will focus on multiple points. Because of this, you will notice the spherical aberrations in the images. When the size of the mirror increases, focusing on a single point by these mirrors gets much more difficult. So you'll see more spherical aberrations with bigger spherical mirrors. Usually the longer focal length of the telescope minimizes the effect of spherical aberrations. So most telescopes that use spherical mirrors will have a longer focal length of 8 to 10. Mostly spherical mirrors will be used in the small aperture telescopes below 150 millimeters. So what are parabolic mirrors? Parabolic mirrors are not perfectly round mirrors, but they are in the shape of a parabola. When a parallel light falls on these mirrors and is reflected, the light passes through a single focal point, ultimately producing a sharper image of an object. Parabolic mirrors are difficult to manufacture and have a higher manufacturing cost. That's why the telescopes with parabolic mirrors are expensive compared to the spherical mirror telescopes. The images you will see with a parabolic mirror will be 60 to 70% brighter and sharper than a telescope with a spherical mirror. Just because parabolic mirrors give sharp images, that doesn't mean they're perfect. Parabolic mirrors also suffer from aberration, but not as much as spherical mirrors. Just because the spherical mirrors have aberrations, that doesn't mean they're not effective. Many catadioptric telescopes use spherical mirrors, and they are very expensive as well. But these catadioptric telescopes use corrector plates to reduce 90% of the aberrations. Now, which telescope should you prefer to buy? As the parabolic mirror has great performance and the images you will see are sharper from these telescopes, if you are buying a telescope that has an aperture size of more than four inches, then you should prefer to buy a telescope with a parabolic mirror. You won't get any aberrations with these telescopes. If you're buying a small aperture telescope, then the spherical mirror will work as well. There will be much fewer aberrations than small aperture, but the images will be good. Make sure the telescope with spherical mirrors has a longer focal length. And that's how these mirrors are different from each other.